In this video, I'm going to introduce momentum in quantum mechanics. This video is part of a playlist on quantum mechanics. You can find the link to this playlist in the description below. Let's get started with the classical understanding of momentum. How would we think of momentum from a Newtonian perspective? Well, we can think of momentum, uh, denoted by the letter P, as being the product of mass and velocity. And we can think of velocity as being the time derivative of position. So that's going to give us this relationship over here. But we can't exactly use this relationship in quantum mechanics. Because in quantum mechanics, uh, these variables don't have defined values until we actually make a measurement. So we don't know what this p is going to be until we make a measurement of the system. So what we have to deal with is expectation values and standard deviations. So let's go ahead and actually turn these guys into expectation values. So we can, instead of just having p, we can have the expectation value of p is m times the expectation value of the velocity. And that's going to be m times the time derivative of the expectation value of the position. And we can actually postulate that this is true. For the purposes of this video, what we're going to do is we're going to postulate and we're going to say this holds. This is our definition of momentum and the expectation value of velocity. So this is how we're actually going to define these expectation values. In the previous video of this playlist, we actually derived an expression for the time derivative of the expectation value of x. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this expression in terms of that expression. So the expectation value of the momentum I can rewrite is m times what did we get for this expression in the previous video? Well, we had minus i h bar divided by m. And then we had an integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of psi star times d psi dx. And this is with respect to x. So oh, I'll close this bracket as well. What we can see is that there's an m over here and an m over here. This guy can actually be thought of as the expectation value of the velocity. So this expression that we derive is, uh, is kind of, uh, can be thought of as the expectation value of v. And because we're defining it, we're postulating that this relationship holds, we can actually define that m times the expectation value of v. That is going to give us the expectation value of the momentum. So let's go ahead and cancel this m. That's actually going to give us this expression. We're going to have minus i h bar times the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of psi star times d psi dx, and we're integrating with respect to x. So we could leave it like this. In this form, it's OK. This is the expectation value of the momentum. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys towards the inside. And I'm going to turn this into an integral sandwich. So it's going to look like a sandwich, and the integral is going to be like the bread of the sandwich. These psi and psi star terms are going to be like the lettuce. And everything on the inside, which we'll call the operator, is going to be like the tomato or the cheese inside the sandwich. So let's go ahead and move these guys towards the inside. Because these guys are just constants, so we can move them past over here. So what we can also do is we can turn this minus i into 1 over i. Because dividing by i is the same as multiplying by minus i. So that's going to give us this expression over here. We're going to have the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of psi star. So this is our lettuce. And then we're going to put our cheese and tomato on the inside. It's going to be h bar over i times d dx. And we'll put psi over here. And we're going to integrate with respect to x. So this is also the expectation value of the momentum. Can you see what I did here? All I did was I isolated the stuff in the middle. And I moved these constants towards the inside. You might see it in the form of minus i h bar, or you could see it as h bar over i. Those are equivalent constants out the front. So what is this? This integral sandwich is actually relating the momentum operator to the expectation value of the momentum. Right? This expectation value of the momentum is equal to this integral. And this thing over here, we can actually call the momentum operator. So I'll put a little hat on top. So that is the operator that represents momentum. And that is forming all the tomatoes and the cheese and all the goodness inside of this integral sandwich. So this 
is actually how we're going to introduce momentum in quantum mechanics. We're going to introduce it by saying this is the expectation value of momentum, and this is how we represent momentum as an operator. And we can actually sandwich that operator on the inside, and this is how you would actually compute it if you knew the state. If you knew what the wave function psi was, all you would have to do is uh, take the partial derivative with respect to x of psi, then you would have to multiply it by the complex conjugate of psi and multiply by h bar over i, and then integrate over the entire domain with respect to x. That would give you a value, and that value would be the expectation value of momentum. We're going to keep talking about expectation values in the next few videos in this playlist. Make sure to watch all the videos in this quantum mechanics playlist by clicking over here.